Well, hi everyone and welcome to Mark's 900. I'm Mark and I can't believe it, but once again I find myself kneeling down on the front drive and talking about tyres. This time it's because the old Metzler Rotec 01 SE tyres that I've been using for the past year or so have won to the point where I really need to change them. Okay, so they're not right down to the wear indicators, but just as I found with my last set of stock Dunlops, there's an unusual wear pattern that makes for some rather interesting cornering. Now these tyres have only done about six and a half thousand miles, and if I'm honest, they've been ready for a change for at least the past 500 miles, and possibly even longer. So if you're wondering if these are the tyres for you, and in you're just looking at those figures of 6,000 odd miles and one year between changes, on a set of tyres that cost over 300 quid to fit, then it doesn't look great. But what you need to consider is the bigger picture, and so it's really important to understand what type of riding I'm talking about. I'll tell you what, rather than me sitting here and explaining it, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So welcome to my typical route for my daily commute five times a week. I could go via some country lanes, but it's not like a Sunday morning on the open roads of the Cotswolds, and I'd be in queues of workers and the old pensioner who's got lost on the way to the shops. So far better to enjoy a fairly empty bit of dual carriageway. Now I have to admit that today is Saturday, so it's especially quiet, but this should just give you an idea. I have four pieces of dual carriageway and three roundabouts to navigate, and I can usually battle my way to the front of the queue at the start of each section of road. and then. I open up the bike to reach <coughs> 70 miles an hour um, as quickly as possible, leaving everything in my wake, and I keep doing that until I'm at work. The roundabouts can be fairly rapid too, and one on the way home is particularly good for flying round with a knee down and then a quick flick into a left-hander. So you can see that when I'm doing 20 miles of this type of riding every day, why my rear tyre has worn square and my front one is kind of shaved off on the right-hand side. In addition to all of this, I'm rather partial to a wheelie or two. I'm not great at them, but there's not a feeling like it when that front wheel unsticks and gets some airtime. But of course, to do that, you need to put a lot of power onto that rear wheel. Now all of this takes a massive toll on my tyres, and so what I end up with is this back one wearing square. You can see that it's almost down to the wear indicator in the middle, but there's a good 5mm left on the edges. Now I'm not afraid to get the bike banked over on some corners, and I'm only about 10mm off the edge of the tyre, but I don't get down there very often, and so the tyre has worn completely square. The disappointing part about this is that not only is it squared off, but that happened very early on after I had the tyre fitted. Genuinely, after only about two months I noticed the tyre wear, as did a couple of my mates who were looking at the bike. But once it had worn a bit, it kind of stayed like that, and I don't know whether the performance of this tyre is at such a premium that it compromises the wear, and actually other tyres might be better suited to my personal style of riding. Perhaps some of them have a harder compound in the centre, but they may be not as quick to warm up or not as good on their grip. I don't really know, but that is one aspect of this tyre that kind of disappointed me, the fact that it did wear that quickly. Moving to the front tyre, this is squared a little bit, as you would expect, but nothing like the rear one. The difference with this one is that the right-hand side of the tyre has been completely worn down from going around roundabouts. They're not right down to the wear indicator, but with the shape they are now, they're borderline dangerous. In fact, a mate of mine who is a bike mechanic and also does competitive trials riding at weekends sat on this the other week and he peeked over the front and immediately says, you want to get that changed? And to be honest, when somebody with that sort of experience and skills tells you that your tyres need changing, it's usually best to listen. So we've talked about wear, but let's talk about grip, and oh my gosh, I have never known anything grip like these. They are incredible, hot, cold, wet or dry, they just grip like chewing gum on a hot pavement. I haven't had a single side slip, unintended wheel spin or brown trouser moment that I could blame the tyres for. I could even pull a wheelie in the wet, which I never thought was even possible until I tried these. It's fair to say that my talent is going to run out well before one of these tyres is going to lose grip. So these to me are utterly brilliant and worth every single penny. Now in terms of cost, when I put these on a year ago they were £285, but the world has gone mad since then and now to get them fitted costs about 330 and it's £286 just to buy them. So with 6,500 miles on the Metzler Rotec 01 SEs, would I recommend them? Well I can say hand on heart, yes, all day long, and I don't say that lightly. We've heard it many times that there are only two contact points between the bike and the road, and both of them are our tyres. So it's a tough thing for me to stand here and recommend something which has such a responsibility for keeping you shiny side up. 
but recommend them I most certainly do. This of course comes with a caveat that I'm basing my assessment on grip and performance so just be careful with the longevity aspect as there may be better options depending on your riding style. If you're anything like me then when you see the open road you simply pin it wide open and then as soon as you're at the twisties you start to try and get all technical and then you overthink it and then you come out of the other side doing like five miles an hour. Now that's really my problem and perhaps I should just adjust my riding style and take it a bit easier. So I highly recommend these tyres but am I going to buy them again? Well hell no because I'm the sort of person who goes on holiday and absolutely loves the place but doesn't go back to the same place next year. I like to try different things, I like to experiment, so to that end the next time round I'm going to be using these and this is the Pirelli Angel ST. Now they're about £100 cheaper, they've been around for years and get great reviews. The other thing is I'm going to go and try and fit them myself, so to try and save a few quid and recoup the setup costs I also don't want to have to worry too much about ruining an expensive set of Metzlers with my new tools and a very particular lack of skills. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the Metzler Road Tech 01s, look out for my next video where I'll be tyre wrestling with a set of these on my Z900. Well, keep your chains oiled and I'll see you then.